part two. This is lesson eight, part two. It's estimating with decimals, very much like lesson eight, part one, where we estimated mixed numbers with fractions in them to whole numbers. Today, we'll just estimate uh, decimals to whole numbers. Our first example here says round the decimal to the nearest whole number. Our example here, we have 7.8, or correctly said, 7 and 8 tenths. In your notebook, you will just write exactly what you see there. So 7 and 8 tenths rounded to the nearest whole number is 8. And this was the first of two simple examples. Here's our second one, our job to round the decimal to the nearest whole number. Example two gives us six and three tenths. In your notebook, right? Six and three tenths rounded to the nearest whole number is six. So please do the next six estimations on your own using whatever assistance I give you. Please round 10 and 4 tenths to the nearest whole number. This little clue at the bottom here is going to be on every single page. Please get that memorized. It makes rounding very, very simple. There's five numbers that you round down for and five numbers that you round up with. Our job on this one to round the decimal to the nearest whole number. 3 and 68 one hundredths rounded to the nearest whole number. And again, just look at that first number after the decimal. This time our job is around 3 and 5 tenths or 3 and a half to the nearest whole number. look complicated but again just look that first number after the decimal is all that matters when you're rounding to the nearest whole number if we were rounding to the nearest tenth that would be different we would look at the next number after it or if we were rounding to the nearest one hundredth we would look at the number after the eight but in this case our job round to the decimal to the nearest whole number all you'll look at is that four Same thing here. Round 12 and 49 one hundredths to the nearest whole number. You do not round up to 5 first. You do not take that 9 and round that 4 up to a 5. Because 49 one hundredths is less than a half. So all we have to do is look at that 4. All right, let's use estimation for some sums and differences. Your job is the same here, but you'll have to round 12 and 49 one hundredths down to 12, and 1 and 13 one hundredths down to 1, and then add them together. And your best estimate for those two added together would be 13. Round 9 and 6 tenths plus 2 and 2 tenths. And then add them together for a uh, good estimate of their sum. 8 and 9 tenths plus 10 and 3 tenths. Just pause the video as needed. This time it's a subtraction problem, so find the difference, round the difference to the nearest whole number. 8 and 9 tenths minus 4 and 45 one hundredths. And a couple more. We've got 20 and a half, or 20.5, or 20 and 5 tenths, minus 4 and 1 tenth. 
would that be rounded to the nearest whole number? And what would the difference of these guys? I tried to make it look tough, but I think you guys can get it all right. So get that in your notebook, and you'll be done. Thanks again for watching, for taking great notes, writing down excellent examples, and for continuing to grow. Yum. Mushrooms, tomatoes, onions, basil, avocados, oregano, some sauerkraut on the bottom, believe it or not. Delicious salad for you there. Have a happy and healthy day, everybody. Something tells me I want you to know that. It's very logical.